All right, so we're gonna be talking about the number of airline flights that are on time out of 10. And one of the questions we wanna find, what's the probability that between four and six out of 10 are on time? Now this is a binomial distribution. So we need to know why it is a binomial distribution. So let's see why. All right, so let's think about the random variable X. It's the number of flights out of 10 that are on time if you think about it because there are 10 flights and we want to find out how many are on time look some of these questions say find the probability that six are on time find the probability that fewer than six are on time interpret the probability interpret it another thing to notice is that why is this thing binomial well first of all it's a discrete it's a you're counting one or two or zero or three or four it's not like something that can be measured it's something that can be counted with with your fingers so it's a discrete random variable. Those types of variables are binomial, not normal distribution. The two main distributions we deal with are normal distributions and binomial distributions. And this one is a binomial distribution and you need to recognize that. Also, there's four things that you gotta check to see if it's a binomial. One, you need a fixed number of trials and there are, there's 10. Two, you need a constant probability of success and we're defining that probability of success to be 75% because they are on time 75% of the time, so P equals 0 0.75. Three, it's a binomial because it's yes or no, it's either on time or not. And then lastly, it's independent. That's the hardest one to check. Independence means that the probability of one outcome doesn't affect the next. And the number of flights is so large that with a sample size as small as 10, we can say that the selections were done independently. So I'm not gonna explain that too deeply here. Mainly we focus on like the top three. So we know it's a binomial random variable, okay? The number of flights out of 10 that are on time, that is a binomial random variable. Also, we know that X can be equal to either zero or one or two and all the way up to 10. All right, so I wanna try part E. It says find and interpret the probability that between four and six flights inclusive are on time. So what does it mean between four and six flights? Well, all that means is four or five or six and it's inclusive so we want to include four and six so we just need to find the probability of getting four or five or six flights that are on time there's two ways to do that method one you can do binome pdf of four five and six separately and then just add those up method two i prefer is when you just subtract the binome cdfs so let's see if I put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 here, and I want 4 through 6, what I have to do is take these values from 0 to 6 and then subtract from 0 to 3, right? So I take the values from 0 to 6, so that's binome CDF 10, 0.75, 6, and then I just subtract binome CDF 10 comma 0.75 and then 3. I need to subtract out 0 to 3. So on a calculator, what does that look like? So second distribution, it's right below this arrow and it's to the left of clear. So second distribution, binome CDF 10 comma 0.75 comma 6 minus second distribution, binome CDF 10 comma 0.75 comma 3. And there we have it, 0 0.221, that's the probability. And that's the answer that they got. So now, let's interpret the probability. In 100 trials of this experiment, it is expected about blank to result in between four and six flights, inclusive being on time. So 22, in other words, 22 out of 100 times, you're gonna get between four and six flights inclusive that are on time. All right, so there's a 22% chance that you'll get between four and six flights that are on time if you randomly select 10 flights. All right, that's it. Even though you drove me insane.